Is it possible that rearing cattle creates more greenhouse gas emissions than driving cars? Surprisingly enough, the answer is yes. The livestock sector generates greenhouse gas emissions, which, when measured in CO2 equivalent, are higher than those produced by transport. It is also a major source of land and water degradation. With an increase in wealth and prosperity, people of the world are consuming more and more meat and dairy products every year. According to estimations, global meat production is projected to more than double, from 229 million tonnes in 2000 to 465 million tonnes in 2050. The livestock sector is growing faster than any other agricultural subsector. The sector supports the livelihoods of some 1.3 billion people. For many poor farmers in developing countries, livestock are also an essential source of organic fertilizer for their crops. But such rapid growth exacts a steep environmental price. The sector accounts for 37% of all methane produced by human activities and 64% of ammonia, which contributes significantly to acid rain. Livestock now require 30% of the entire surface of the earth, mostly for permanent pasture, but also 33% of the global arable land which is used to produce livestock feed. At the same time, herds are a cause of wide-scale land degradation. About 20% of pastures are considered as degraded through overgrazing, compaction and erosion. The livestock business is among the most damaging sectors to the Earth's increasingly scarce water resources, contributing among others to water pollution, eutrophication and the degeneration of coral reefs. There are several potential ways to reduce the environmental damage of livestock. One way the impact can be strongly diminished is if the consumption of meat products among the rich is reduced. An Indian eats on average 5 kilograms of meat per year, compared to 123 kilograms for an American. <laughs>